you guys welcome back to another week in my life in New York City started the day with an amazing workout and it's sunny outside in New York and it's weirdly like warm again I literally walked back from the gym like this and I'm getting a haircut today we're not going short I'm just getting a trim however I do want to get some face framing layers because my hair in the front is literally just straight and there's no body so I'm not getting side bangs or curtain bangs but I want some face framing layers and I'm a little nervous so please pray for me. I'm actually about to have NYC steamers come here and they're gonna clean my couch. Um, they're amazing, I've used them many times. And there's this like brown round circle and I don't know where it came from so I'm really hoping they can get it out. Um, but they're amazing, they just use this tool and you see it all, oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. My couch is pretty clean, it's just there's if you look a little closer, it needs some cleaning. Couches are done. They have to dry for like six to ten hours and normally he would clean these and they can However, I made the mistake of like some of them I got stained so I wash them which is awesome about these slip cover You can just take off the cover and put it in the washer But then I was washing some of them with like a, a whitener So some of my pillows look or cushions look brighter than the others and he was like I can't fix that um, so he was like, I suggest you just run them through the wash and he'll, he helped me unzip all of them because that's half the battle. Um, I wish he was here to put, help me put them back on. <laughs> um, so he cleaned the base and then I that one uh, cushion that had the big brown spot he got out. So I'm really happy about that. I'll have to run it through the wash to get it the same brightness as all the others. So I don't know, that was probably my mistake from the beginning because now they're always going to be a little brighter than this because it's more of an ivory. But... You know, you win some, you lose some. Once I put all the cushions, you won't really see this part as much. <laughs> so I currently have a load in the wash right now, but I didn't want to put them all at one time, so I also have some more there. But I just use, obviously, laundry detergent, and then this I got on Amazon. It's an oxygen whitener, and it smells like sweet mint. Um, it's just a little bit more natural. It's by the brand Clean Mama. Um, I don't know, maybe I should just use bleach, but I find it works great. So, we got that going right now, and my clothes are not drying. And my dryer thinks, oh wait. <sighs> oh my gosh. My air wasn't working, so I hit the circuit breaker, and I'm just realizing I accidentally freaking did the washer and dryer. That's why they stopped going, oh my gosh. <laughs> and we're back in business. Well, that explains why it's not drying. Gosh, I hope that didn't ruin the wash. I think we're good. Oh, that is so funny that I did that. I'm about to shower and get ready for the day, um, but you guys already know what time it is. Whenever I work out, I lose electrolytes, so how do I get them back? Element. Element is the tastiest electrolyte drink that I have tried. I absolutely love this drink mix. These are my three favorite flavors. Raspberry salt, grapefruit salt, and citrus salt. Today I'm gonna do grapefruit. We're gonna go grapefruit today. I love Element especially because there's no junk in this. There's no food coloring, there's no sugar, no artificial ingredients, no gluten. Like, I feel like I'm putting good into my body, which is very important. And like I was saying earlier, like when you sweat, the primary thing you lose is sodium. And this is a drink mix that's made with sodium instead of like sugar, which I absolutely love. And I also love how there's magnesium in it because I, I'm always trying to get more magnesium in my body. This helps with so many things. It helps with headaches, eliminates cramps, fatigueness. Also, if you're having trouble sleeping, like there's just so many benefits to drinking Element and I just look forward to it as like a treat for my day because it tastes so good. Oh, it's so good. I've gotten so many of my friends on it. Like when I went to Greece, I brought a ton because me and all my friends were drinking it. Or if you wake up after a morning of drinking and you're feeling a little hungover, this will bring you back to life. I promise because I do it all the time. So right now, Element is actually offering a free sample pack with any order. So that means you get to try all of the flavors for free with that order. So like, let's say you're interested in citrus salt, you get the citrus salt one, which is my top, top favorite. 
and then you'll get the free sample pack with all of the flavors so you can see oh maybe like actually like chocolate salt or grapefruit salt whatever it may be so this deal is only available through my link so if you go to drinkelement.com slash danielle carolyn you'll get that free sample pack i've had so many of you guys dm me which means a lot to me like i tried it because of you and now i'm obsessed like that makes me so happy so go to d-r-i-n-k-l-m-n-t dot com slash my name danielle carolyn to get that free sample pack Thank you so much to Element for sponsoring this video. It's really such an honor working with them because you guys know I literally drink this stuff all the time. So it's very exciting when they want to partner with me on a vlog because I would have drank this right now anyways. <laughs> okay, we are headed to get my hair cut. I'm so nervous. I really don't want to go any shorter. I just want healthy trim and face framing layers. We're going to Frederick Fakai. I'm so excited. They actually offered to take me in and do my hair. And I'm so honored because they're a very well established salon in my brain. So, and it's in Soho. So, I wanted to wear a cute fit. It's literally warm outside, but I've been wanting to wear this outfit. Blazer is from Dish. And then I'm so obsessed with like cinching a blazer with a belt. This one is Zimmerman. Skirt is Revolve. And then these boots are my Augie boots from Dolce Vita. They're like this chocolate brown color. And then obviously, my hair will be done. So, yeah, I am so excited. Let's do this thing. just the most creative mood I will it's just been a few hours since we last chatted I love my haircut honestly he wanted me to do even shorter but I was a little nervous I kind of I guess that would be curtain bangs then but I'm really happy with these layers um, my hair just needed some body so highly suggest going to Fakai Frederick Fakai's salon in Soho it was such a vibe in there too um I had this idea to do a video or like like a TikTok or real series where a friend or someone picks out something in my closet, like one piece, or I pick out something and I have to style an outfit around it. I think it's just a really nice challenge and a nice reminder that when you feel like you have nothing in your closet to wear, you have so many clothes and you just kind of need to give them a new life. So I just did one and I just finished editing it and I'm about to post it on TikTok and see what people think. But I'm going to call it the style this challenge. And if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, please go follow me on TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn. Go comment on this video and let me know if you want to do more, me to do more. I want to do more like this, but I want it to like go well, you know, it's, it's scary out there. Um, and then I also filmed a fall outfit ideas video today as well so we're having fun um, i'm just loving fashion and i'm loving that you guys are loving it i got an iced latte so that's helping i like can't sit on my couch because all my cushions are drying right now so that's kind of the update honestly i'm wearing my drake t-shirt that i love so much tonight's project as there's always some sort of project is organizing my workout drawer it gets really unorganized really fast i almost want to put on a flashlight so you guys can see i'm listening to justin bieber i basically re-rolled or i'm still in the process of re-rolling i have to get over here just sometimes in the morning when i'm going to work out i just get a little lazy um but i find the system does work the best for me and i did laundry and i'm like folding everything because i did laundry all day yesterday on sunday and there's still some stuff i had to fold anyways I have so much workout stuff in here that I can't even put it away until I reorganized all this. So just going through refolding, it's kind of annoying to do, but tomorrow morning when I wake up to pull this door open, I will be very, very happy. I'm also really happy with these cabinets right here. Not very organized, but um, my hats and then my belts, these are from Amazon. I love them. I did like all of my black and darker belts and then my lighter or different belts here. I mean, not really, it's not very organized, but you know what I mean. Um, I just like how I can see the top of the belt on each one so I know what belt I'm going for. Ta-da! It's still, it's a chaotic mess, but 
the drawer shuts, so that's, oh, no it doesn't. There we go, that's all that matters. We just did an episode on Gals on the Go about little habits to improve your everyday life, and one of Brooke's tips and habits that she does is pick out her outfit the night before, even if it's like a workout outfit, whatever, so I'm gonna try that tonight because I used to do this all the time at school and it really did help me because I have a workout in the morning and then I have to come back, get ready pretty fast and then go to a podcast recording and it takes a minute to get up to the podcast studio and it's gonna be really hot out so I'm like, let me just pull some options now so that tomorrow I'm not like, ah, I'm frazzled. I can kind of sit, look at the weather, have an idea. So tomorrow we're recording the podcast. We're having on Jen and Pumps from I've Had It. I'm so excited. And it's going to be hot and I'm probably going to take the subway. So I want, it's going to be literally 80 degrees tomorrow. I'm so confused. So I want to wear something that is airy and flowy and I can comfortably walk in. So this one's a little bit more buttoned up. It's like, I don't know, more of like a slim fitting dress. But I really want to wear it. But I could wear it more in this. And I'll probably go with one of these. But I want to try it on tomorrow. Or I have this really cute purple dress. And I feel like I need to wear that before it gets too cold out. And it's like Gals in the Go colors. Or I have this go-to black dress I've worn a few times. It has cutouts, super cute, puffy sleeves. I just like how puffy sleeves look on camera, so. Yeah, Brooke, are you proud of me? Also, can we take a moment for this shelf? <laughs> I love the two-tone shoes right now. I just got these from Vince Camuto and I can't wait to wear them all the time. They are so cute. I am also going to Mexico this weekend with Ryan. I am so excited. So this chair is usually me planning for my next trip or an event or just pulling clothes, so. I love saying pulling. I feel like a stylist, but I'm not. Um, so this is stuff that I pulled <laughs> to try on to potentially bring to Mexico. I'm so excited for a little romantic getaway with my man. Also currently listening to this episode of Skinny Confidential. I love when Lauren does a solo. I love when she gets sp specific. So I'm listening to this right now. For you moms. Days like today where I get all worked up in a good way, like excited about what I'm doing, what I'm editing, what I'm creating content wise. Or like we were doing lots, I was just doing lots of like work stuff on my computer for the last few hours and I'm excited, it's all good things. I get wound up really easily, especially if I'm planning, planning my outfits, at, you know, I don't know. I just get worked up and it's a good thing, but I need to go to bed and sometimes it's hard to get relaxed when you're like on such a high, like it's all good stuff. Um, so that's when I'll drink some tea because it kind of just warms up my body and calms me down. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way. So we're gonna have a cup of sleepy time tea. It is the absolute best and it makes me sleepy so that's a perk. ASMR. <laughs> Alas, it is time for bed. Almost 10.30. Gonna start the night routine. Closing shift if you will. I've been loving in the evening like drawing my like sheer curtains and it kind of is like okay we're starting to wind down for the night and then right before I go to bed I close the blackout curtains. I also don't think I exactly talked about the fact that I got another plant. Um, the other plant I had over there was just too much. It was overpowering the space I felt and so Sierra Belanger, my interior designer, came over last week and she suggested that I, because I was like I do need some, th some color in here because it's definitely very neutral but I like that. I like it to be very simple. I feel very relaxed. But she suggested a faux olive tree and it's super tall and skinny and it's perfect in the space. I am waiting in the mail. I got a planter so it'll look a little bit nicer. It's like a bigger one, like just like a bowl for the that part to sit in. I mean, my Wi-Fi unfortunately just has to be there. But not a lot of times are people over here looking at my bed. I feel like they're more so from here. So I think it looks very fabulous. So... I'm gonna hit the hay. I'll see you guys in the morning.
You guys already know the post-workout cottage cheese treat. I have about an hour to get ready to podcast the Sculpt Society workout this morning with Brooke and Katie. They've never done Sculpt Society before, so that was super fun, and they liked it, which was good. Then we went to Ralph's Coffee, got our treat, lots of treats this morning. But I'm gonna eat this, shower, get ready, because we're having Jen and Pumps from I've Had It Podcast on Gals on the Go, and I seriously can't wait. Like, I am obsessed with them. Just finished getting ready for the podcast. I'm so excited and it's like summer weather outside now. It was chilly this morning and now it's like hot out. Um, so I made a good call and I ended up going with this dress because there's only a few more weeks I could even maybe wear this dress and it's Gals on the Go colors. It's from, uh, I think it's from Hello Molly. This is actually the dress that I bought for the Eras tour because I was being Speak Now and it didn't come in time. So I ended up buying a really great dress from Free People but this dress is just like, this would have been so perfect. Like, I love how it snatches at the waist. Love the puffy sleeves. I might need to cut these hanger straps. These are the death of me. Earrings are anthropology. Bracelets are electric picks. And then I'm just wearing some Converse because I'm taking the train um, to the podcast studio. But I'm excited. My hair, I, I like the face framing layers, but I'm still just having trouble styling it. I feel like it's just giving... Nothing like maybe I need more something in the front. I, I don't know comment down below What I should do, but yeah, this is the outfit. I feel really good in it and I'm excited to podcast It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good good day Check Abercrombie, so cute. Natural hair, we love it. So cute. No, no, it's so cute. Recording went great. Now I'm about to dive in to this Chipotle. If you guys are wondering how crazy I am, well, I just got off of two calls, one for Gals on the Go, one for me personally, for my endeavors. Um, and now I'm <laughs> ignoring other things I have to do and making an itinerary, or they gave us an itinerary for our Mexico trip this weekend. I'm so excited. Ryan and I are going on a romantic trip. I keep saying romantic because I want it to be romantic. To Mexico and the hotel created an itinerary for us, which is so nice, so then what do I do? So I'm taking the itinerary of each day and then I'm just kind of putting what I might wear that night for dinner or whatever the activities are. So the first day is just dinner, so I kind of pulled, pulled this outfit. The next day we have like breakfast on the terrace, so I thought I'd wear this. And then this might be my dinner outfit that night. And then obviously I don't, I'm gonna wear like bathing suit every day to the pool, but I don't know if I'm gonna plan that or not. I'm not planning as heavily, but just so I get a visual to make sure I have enough stuff that I'm bringing. Cause you gotta bring like a couple options. You might change your mind while you're there. And then Sunday night we have a dinner. So I'm gonna wear one of these outfits, I think. But I also need to figure out, it's just a good visual. So I know like, what am I gonna wear on the kayaking and snorkeling tour? I'm a, I think a bathing suit, but I just gotta like figure all this out. So that's what I'm doing right now. What am I putting off? Putting all the cushions back on my damn cushions. Putting all the cushion covers on my cushions. I need to start that right now before it starts to get dark and I wanna get snuggly on my couch. I just took all my makeup off. That's the best feeling ever. Delaney's actually going to stop by on her way back from work because I haven't seen her in a minute and I'm going out of town this weekend. Um, and I also have some clothes since I did my closet clean out that I want her to go through before I donate them. I also literally just today launched my, um, my TikTok, my pickle shop so you guys can rent from me if you live in New York City only. Uh, there's just pieces, like some really nice pieces that I bought, bought for vacation or photo shoots, whatever it may be, that I want them to have more lives, but I don't necessarily want to sell them yet. Um, so you can rent them on my Pickle, on the Pickle app, just look up Danielle Carolyn and I have like eight or nine pieces on there and it's just gonna be so fun to see the clothing have more lives and you guys get to wear some fun clothes. So I think Pickle's great, you can set up like a courier, we'll come get it and drop it off and I'll, I'm gonna do it where I dry clean it for you so you don't even have to clean it, you just rent it. So if you guys live in New York and you're looking for some fun pieces for a vacation or a wedding, um, I'll be adding more stuff on there, but definitely go follow me on Pickle. So yeah. But now we must do what I don't want to do. Get my couch back in order here. When I tell you guys I am sweating and out of breath, I am not kidding. But finally, I have a nice clean couch. Whew. 
It's done. Just before Delaney got here. Yay. Delaney's here. Hi. We're just gossiping. Catching up. Catching up. She was. Yes. Are you working too? A little bit. Just a little here and there. It, I just unloaded my whole dishwasher while we chatted. That's the best. Like, I feel like you've been doing a lot of housework. So I've been doing <laughs> No, it's so great. I like do things that I don't want to do. Same if you're like on the phone with someone. It's just so lovely. Delaney was just in Louisiana for a fried chicken festival, so it's getting all the hot gossip. See, <laughs> traveling again tomorrow. Yep. Um, oh yeah. Get Where are you going go. tomorrow? Dallas. In Dallas. I'm excited. I haven't been to Dallas in years. Well, Dallas is a fun time. Yeehaw. This is going up next Wednesday. Can we say, or yeah, can we say what you're going to be doing? Oh yeah, we're doing, for Canes of course, um, a drive through shoot with Baker Mayfield, which is so cool, and Vince Young. So cool. So I think he's just going to be chilling with some football players this week. You know, casual. Vibing out in Dallas. I love Dallas so much. That's going to be so fun. But yeah, we're just chatting. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, it's dinner time, and I need to get through my groceries. I feel like I'm leaving on Friday morning, so I need to eat all this stuff. Whole Foods did a substitution that I didn't approve, but it's fine. I wanted ground turkey, and they gave me turkey burgers. Oh my god, should I make turkey? No, I don't know how to do that. Um, I was going to say turkey meatballs. I'm going to see if I could just put it on the pan and like chop through it and make a ground turkey. And we're going to do ground turkey pasta, one of my absolute faves so i'm gonna get that going i need to take out the rest of my trash obviously listening to frank sinatra because i'm making italian food it just makes sense to listen to sinatra i don't know why i just feel like i'm in an italian restaurant yet i'm in my apartment it's perfect Dinner for one, yes please. Just cleaned up all of my cooking. I'm watching Julianne Hunter on YouTube, of course. I am gonna clean some makeup brushes because this one in specific is the one I apply all of my foundation with and it just gets extra gunky with products. So I wanna make sure to clean this before my trip this weekend. So I use this thing that suctions from Sigma onto my sink and then I have the foam right here which is amazing and I just brush it wash it and there's all these like ridges and stuff. It's really cool I'm so excited. I just went live with my pickle shop and someone already rented this Ronnie Kobo dress that I wore in the Hamptons, so um, I'm gonna set this up to be delivered to her tomorrow. That's so exciting For reference, this is what my profile looks like. I have some of like the dresses I bought for Greece and like Miami stuff like that like fun nice dresses Watching Gossip Girl What's New. It's my favorite thing because I've seen it so many times that I can just have it on in the background if I'm in the other room. It's no problem. I'm in the lab, aka packing for my trip to Mexico. Um, kind of seeing it all earlier today on the like Google slides I made was really helpful. So, because we're really only there for a weekend, so I'm gonna minimize myself to this, just this, plus pajamas and underwear and like toiletries. <laughs> um, this is my pile of like dinner outfits. Um, I always bring like one or two extra because you know, your mood could change. Then I tried to pick my bathing suits and cover up so I'm not packing extra. So I have this pink bathing suit with this cover up, this free people bikini, this is from Amazon. This free people bikini and this like skirt and then my favorite like black triangle bathing suit from AEXAE -E with like a black skirt. And then these are like my casual clothes like Going down for breakfast, linen pants, jean shorts, a white button down, and like a little white dress from Free People. Gonna attempt to like do some workouts or walks or something while we're there. So I brought a few um, workout outfits that could double as like airport outfits. Oh, and then this is a white exercise dress as well from Outdoor Voices. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to bring these or not because I have three bathing suits and we're only gonna have Saturday and Sunday, like two full days. So I already have three over there, but again, your mood could change and there's yellow in that cover up. So I could also wear this yellow bikini. This is a strapless one in case I need to fix some tan lines. And then this is just my go-to. It's kind of like the last little summer vibe. So 
I thought I might bring those. My manager for my birthday got me this sick Jacques Mousse hat, which is so beyond generous. So I was like, I need to bring that to Mexico. And then I have my favorite Amazon beach bag over there that I think I'm going to bring. And yeah, I just slowly was starting. Today's Tuesday and we're leaving on Friday, but I just wanted to kind of get a visual and I'm kind of feeling set. So on like tomorrow night and Thursday, I'll pack like accessories and all that, but this is the base. <laughs> Packed up what I could, put it in that suitcase, and now it is time to start winding down for bed. I will see you guys. <laughs> I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, world. I slept with the pimple patch literally right there. And it stayed. Let's do the day, baby. My AC is currently not working in my apartment, so I had my fan on overtime last night. So hopefully they come and look at it today. A new podcast episode just dropped, Little Habits to Improve Your Everyday Life. I'm so excited for you guys to go listen to that. This candle is my current dream. This is Autumn Plum by Nest. And it smells so good. I did not think I would like a plum candle, but this is fabulous. It's a new day. What's today's quote? Nobody said it was easy, but fair enough. I also have my ice roller here in her little sleeping bag so she stays nice and cold. Wow, this, this is magic. Wearing our Gals in the Go merch, our Hamptons Gals. <laughs> I decided to do a morning mask, <laughs> and I can't move my face. It's by Caudalie. Well, Uploading a video. Getting my space ready for Dahlia from Space Reborn on Instagram to come organize my closet. I'm so excited. I keep it pretty good, I think, but she's coming to kind of fluff everything up because I'm getting my apartment ready to do an apartment tour here in the next few weeks, which I'm really excited about. So here is the before. And then she's also gonna spruce up this closet, which is a little bit more messy, I feel like. My folding here and organizing what goes where has not been great. Those have stayed intact because I probably haven't touched those. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's gonna be like the hardest thing ever for her and I'm really appreciative and I, I love working with organizers. I think they're amazing. Um, she's New York City based, but I think she does go to some surrounding states. Anyways, yeah, so she's gonna come, I'm gonna let her in and then we're gonna head to the gym. Just got back and Dahlia from Space Reborn literally just left. Her and her assistant Daya were amazing. Look how good this looks. Like I love the way she presented all of my bags and we did the black. She thought it looked best like three shoes in each row. Have some bags sparse throughout. Love. We kind of went through like what are my most important shoes right now for fall. I was like boots and like darker, more neutral tones. And then I have my more summery shoes up there. And then she did her best to like squish all my sneakers in there. Um, you know, you do your best. And then she just kind of fluffed up this area by color and type, which I love. So I'm very happy. And then in here looks phenomenal. Like, okay. So good, like I, this was so needed. So here's some organization inspiration. <laughs> I went home and showered and we are now headed to the packing district to go to the Diane Von Furstenberg store. I'm trying on some of their new fall styles and making a fun little TikTok. I'm so excited, you guys know I'm trying to get more into fashion in any sort of way. So this is a fun little outlet for me to join. Stopped by Think Coffee on my way back. 
It is such a hot day out. Oh my gosh, and my air conditioning not working isn't helping. But it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I just got an iced decaf latte. I'm about to hop on FaceTime with Brooke because we need to book our Chicago hotels for the Chicago live shows. So we're gonna do that now and also go through some other things. And you know, just gals and the ghost stuff. Yeah, it would have to kind of be cohesive with the rest yeah. of the slides. Smoke coming out of your ears. That could be funny. Oh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I really like this, though. I think this is going to look no, really great. good it's on great. stage. No, I mean, I figured. Home at last. I went for a super long walk along West Side Highway with my friend Caitlin. That's been one of our favorite things to do since she's moved here. Is go for a walk. I just looked at my, I was like, I have walked so much, my legs are jello. I've hit 19,000 steps today. Crazy, 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 crazy. Um, I'm basically re-eating everything I, like, I had my leftover Chipotle yesterday for lunch today, and I'm having the same meal I had last night for dinner. It's just working. So I'm gonna have my ground turkey and pasta left over from last night, and I did have to go buy more <laughs> ASMR, more pasta sauce. But that'll be my dinner tonight. Oh, I do have a little Parmesan cheese or mozzarella Parmesan. I'm gonna watch Gossip Girl because it's my comfort and I need to prep for tomorrow because we have a very busy back-to-back -back day. It's like prepping for my trip slash we have a Gals on the Go merch photo shoot tomorrow. So, <laughs> lots to be done. But it's only 8.20 and to me, that means I have a lot more time tonight to get stuff done. I'm a night worker. I like to do things at night. some eye patches and ice roller. I've also been loving these Dr. Dennis Gross Ultra Gentle Daily Peels. Um, the, you use two, it's a two-stepper. So the first one is exfoliate and smooth. The second one is an anti-aging neutralizer. And I really think my makeup looks better when I apply it after I use these. Um, and I just think it's fun, like a little two-step moment. And my skin is just honestly crap right now. And I'm not really sure what's going on. The only thing I can think of is I got a facial. Like, mm, no. That was in like July or early August maybe. I think it was in August. No, that can't be it. I don't know if it's from like all the makeup during fashion week or what, but I'm not even super stressed recently. I'm kind of doing okay. So I'm like, why am I breaking out so bad? And I feel like whenever I get a pimple, I don't pop it. I'm not a pimple popper anymore. I've outgrown that because I know it spreads, but then it just like stays dark. And it, oh my God, it pisses me off. So I love wearing no makeup, but it's got all kinds of spots. So I'm just a little upset to say the least. Um, I, am, I was gonna go for a walk this morning, but I'm awaiting my super <laughs> to come fix my AC or take a look at it. I'm very thankful that he's coming. I just hope he actually comes because he has this habit of being like, I'll be there 9 a.m. tomorrow. And then he's like, okay, I'll actually be there tomorrow 9 a.m. So <laughs> we'll see if he comes. But I'm like sweating. I'm sweating. Um, but there are more issues in this world for sure. Uh, anyways, we've got a fun day ahead. I'm getting a wax. <laughs> Getting my nails done. That's actually fun. The nails part. 
and then I'm going to meet up with Brooke and we're doing a merch photo shoot for our new merch drop coming out soon. That is so sick. You guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh. And we're gonna shoot that at a hotel in Fidei. Well, we didn't hire a photographer or anything. We're just gonna use like a digital camera and iPhone. Um, Cause those seem to do just, like those photos seem to get the point across as well. Um. Yeah, that's the day. Then I come back, pack, I'm getting a spray tan later. Next we go tomorrow. He's here. <laughs> As for nails, I'm really wanting to do like a cherry like a dark cherry red or just a normal red. Some sort of red for fall. I just haven't decided what kind of red. Outfit of the day for Aaron slash photo shoot for the merch. I did like light makeup but I'm bringing makeup to touch up. Top is Anine Bing, skirt is Aritzia, and I'm gonna throw over top the sweatshirt and t-shirt because we thought that would be cute with like tennis skirts, but I also brought cargo pants, and then Converse. Have a bag full of the merch, and touch-ups, and cameras, and all kinds of things. Yay! But first we have to get a wax, and I'm not looking forward to it! But this is worth everything. I'm so happy he's here. Gonna take one of these before I leave since I'm traveling and a lot of people are getting sick. So let's take some vitamin C. These are literally like taking a ginger shot. I swear, it's like that same. And I just brushed my teeth. Ah, that feels great. <laughs> Guys, oh. these are our new merch. Sneak peek, actually, just full peek. New merch. This is a comfort color shirt. City gal, matchbox. Love. And Brooke, want to turn around? Oh, sure. Oh, right. I'm obsessed. Let me let me Let's show you guys. Out. So obviously, matchboxes are super in, and we love them. So we personalize these with like sayings that we use, you know, on the podcast. So we've got "I'm up," physical comedy, <laughs> "Block me," don't text. Bring her home. Dinner and a show. Uh, I, know, I love all the different characters you just portrayed. I know, I know there were. Well, it's just how we right. say them. Yeah. No, it's really comfortable. It's really, it's We have them in really uh, big sizes. Like, yeah. We purposely got them oversized. So with jeans, they look... It looks weird with jeans we were talking about, but because no, we wear them... It's more casual. like. But for the photo shoot, it looks better for... Like, I'm wearing cargos. Like, it just looks more physically... Like, uh, physically... <laughs> photo... Yeah. Uh, photogenic yeah because it's like a nice quality t-shirt like that's yeah how I describe it i feel like it's so get whatever size speaks to you like, yeah I think I was wearing it with jeans i would get like a smaller size like a medium probably. yeah we're wearing xls i think yeah. but yeah we're both wearing xls in these i usually wear these Which with like check? shorts is it, is it double x or i think it's xl i Oh no, it's Jokeso. I had a theory because I was like, this is a long boy. And yeah. they're not like this long on me, you know? I, it's pro that's probably my doing. I no, love a double XL. Good. Well, is mine double XL? Or did I get double XL? Oh no, you're just wearing XL. Maybe we switched this. by accident. That's all right. We'll just uh, roll with it. Do you want to switch? Yeah, we could switch. Yeah, let's yeah, switch. Because yeah. I definitely, that's, I wanted the double XL. No, so that good. makes sense. And like, you definitely were wanting this. Um, well, there you go. Dinner well, show. hopefully we got the right sweatshirts then. Yeah. We'll show you guys the sweatshirts. My sweatshirt? I am obsessed. Like, guys, city, so are we, are we, like, obsessed? And it's, like, more of a neutral for fall. I love this. And I feel like it's not podcast, you know, that's the direction no. we're trying to go in. That it's, like, not. I want it very oh cool. Oh, my God, like, this is just a cool Ugh. sweatshirt. I can't wait to wear it to the airport. Like, it's just such a vibe all throughout fall such with leggings, great, with jeans, whatever. Material. Great material. Yeah. Those are really nice. Thanks for your assistance, Brooke. Oh, <laughs> We are home and I'm prepping to get my spray tan. I'm pretty much done packing because once I get a spray tan, I like to just treat my counter as a standing desk and do work. Because I don't really want to sit on my white couch when I have my spray tan and I don't want to pack because I get all sweaty and I'm just like running around. Anyways, pretty much all packed in my new dark brown base suitcase. I absolutely love this. Need to still figure out my airport outfit. I'm wearing these sneakers because I want to like be active while we're down there. Um, and I need to pack my carry-on bag. 
but like it's so funny i was like i am so it's just three nights i'm not overpacking and i feel like i am but i mean it's gonna shut so it's it's fine i'm gonna end the vlog here because i just already know this vlog is so long already i love you guys so much stay tuned for my next vlog bye